let's now look at the magnification and reduction brush in 3D Coat. If you come over to the Tool Options panel, you'll see the two modes that are available. And if I create a new layer in the paint room and try to do a little bit of sculpting here, let's try the draw mode and maybe kind of reptile scale brush alpha. I'm going to enable just the depth channel. I'll drag out a shape here. And you can see how normal maps work. From a certain angle, it looks like there is real displacement going on, but it really is just a perception trick. Right? It's using maps to make it look like there is depth, but there really is not. However, when you create a new layer in 3D Coats Paint Room, you're actually enabling both a normal map and displacement map. 3D Coat is actually working with a normal displacement map under the hood and you can see it reflected here in your 2D texture editor as well as your 3D viewport. So now let's go to the view menu, check show displaced, aha! Now we have real displacement. So that should help demonstrate that you indeed have two different modes working here. So now this allows me to increase interactively or decrease the scale of that depth map. Right, and I can use the magnification and reduction tool. Let me choose a different brush here. And let's choose reduction. So I can now go in and brush locally where I want to reduce without having to do it to the entire layer. I can always go back and choose magnification and increase it where I need. It's a really, really powerful tool whenever you're sculpting here in the paint room. So that is the magnification and the reduction brush in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.